Hi YouTube, and welcome to my first episode of Let's Play Diablo 3. And as you can see, I have created um, a monk to play with in this game. Uh, there are four different uh, classes in the game. Uh, besides the monk, there's also the barbarian, uh, the wizard, and the demon hunter. Um, and I have other uh, characters um, already in, that I've been playing, and I played the demon hunter the most, that one I have at the max level right now. And the demon hunter is definitely my my favorite class, um, but I really want to level up a monk next, and I thought it would be fun to take you all along on the journey with me. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game with her. The gods are in all things, and everywhere I see signs of change. The wind bears an unnatural chill, and my people grow uneasy. Now, fire burns the sky and scorches the vault of the heavens. I must carry out the will of the Patriarchs. When they need to see, I am their eyes. Where they wish to strike, I am their fist. When they would ignite the light of truth, I am their torch. They have sent me to where the heavenly fire has fallen. My mind is clear. I will rid Tristram of the shambling corpses that have risen in the fire's wake. Alright, so that's the introduction to the monk class. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start going through here. You can see... We start here at the uh, at the beginning. There's a, a bridge that she obviously has crossed, and we can't really go back there. So we need to keep going forward this way. And you can see here we've got already uh, some undead in uh, that we need to fight. And right now, um, if you look at the very bottom um, of the screen here, I have uh, only two abilities at the moment. Um, I have Fists of Thunder, which I use my left mouse key, uh, mouse key, mouse button for, and uh, the melee attack, which I use the right mouse button for. And as she levels up, she will gain more skills and more abilities, and I'll be able to use uh, these other keys here, where I'll use the the actual the number keys on my uh, keyboard, the one, two, three, and four. Um, and here I have a, a healing potion, which I actually have keyed um, to the space bar. And uh, just a couple other things for overview here. I have life. Um, this is how much health I have, and right now my max health is 130. And my spirit, which I need spirit to use some of my abilities. Right now, the uh, the all the abilities I have, um, uh, this one right now, it generates spirit. Um, and I don't have anything that actually uses spirit. But later on, I will have attacks and abilities that will actually use spirit. Um, so, let's go ahead and just keep killing these guys. And apparently these undead started to rise after that falling star um, hit the uh, cathedral in Tristram. So, I have to talk to this guy. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, four dead are coming. Alright, let's keep killing these guys. And you'll notice that the monk class, uh, she is basically a hand-to-hand -hand combat, so melee combat, and she uses her hands. Um, she's, a, she's a hand weapon person, she doesn't really use swords and things. She can, I think, use... Okay, Slaughtered Calfian is where I have to go. Um, she can use some weapons, I think, over time. Oh yes, this guy can give us a blessing. 
Oh yes, and we can see some of the things here. We've got a, uh, a merchant. And you'll notice I have a whole lot of gold here, and um, the reason I have a whole lot of gold is because of my other characters. So um, as I play uh, any character in my game on my account, all the gold is shared across all of the different characters. So this is all the gold I've earned from my Demon Hunter, and it's just kind of in that pool there, and, and she could use it if she wants to. Um, so for example, if I wanted to um, get some things here, so I... I've got money, I can go ahead and do that and get some a tunic, some gloves, some pants. Uh, I'm not going to get a buckler. Um, I'm not going to have her do that. So let me go back to the inventory and just get her some clothing so she's not completely naked. <laughs> All right, let's go find Leah, which is over here. You can tell places um, where you need to go by where you can see it's, it's glowing and you can put your hand over it and uh, you can go inside run around and you look for people with these uh, excla yellow exclamation Hi, points. Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia. But Watch out! Ah! Yep. <laughs> My also, the uh, the sick also uh, <laughs> turn into zombies. All right, and see, I have gold here. I just have to run over the gold to pick it up, and that uh, red globe that was hanging over there was a uh, health globe. And I have just, so I have a new skill slot available. So right here I have a new secondary skill, Lashing Tail Kick. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it and put that in there. So that's going to be one that I can do with my right mouse button. And you can see there will be other ones uh, at level 4, 9, 14, and 19 when they get unlocked. And then there's some passive skills, um, and you can see what levels they get unlocked with as well. But we are not there yet. So anyway, we just killed those guys. will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Alright. You can see here we've got a glow here. So she obviously has a room here at the inn. Um, it seems like the whole back of the inn is her room. And one of the things you can do in the game is kind of mouse over and see if you can find anything that you can interact with. And in this case, it's going to be um, this book where you can actually read her journal. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... So that's the end of that. I'll close that window. So we'll be able to, uh, to go ahead and... Uh, find out more about the backstory uh, through different journals and things that we find along the way. I will help you fight the risen dead. I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. That will not be my fate. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricade! All right, go ahead and let's try this kick. Ah, yeah, that's nice. Get that wretched mother. Oops. Yeah, that uh, kick that I'm using over here, you see it takes 30 spirit every time I use it. Um, and... Um, my fists generate spirit, so I need to make sure I keep using my fists, otherwise I run out of spirit. And also, we have some new lore. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Not enough spirit. Alright, so now that we know more about them wretched mothers, let's go kill some of these guys. We need to uh, find some wretched mothers and... Well, 
Killing these guys also gives us experience, which helps us level up faster, as well as they drop gold and other helpful items. And you can see over here on my right, um, I have my objectives. And one thing is to kill the Wretched Queen in the Old Ruins and to kill Wretched Mothers. And I've killed one of three so far. Uh, the first one didn't count. So here's a dead body, and uh, you can also loot dead bodies um, and see if they have anything of value that you can... Uh, Go ahead and take. <laughs> oh, and also there's these barrels and things, and sometimes you can, uh, well, you can usually um, uh, destroy barrels, and the uh, the barrels will often have something in them. Not always, but often. It's basically the zombie apocalypse going on in this world right now. Oops, more guys. I think it was actually rather appropriate that they uh, released Diablo 3 in 2012 since this is supposedly the year of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Might as well use that kick once in a while, but I guess I can't overuse it. Oh, and there's some of these little cool beasts. Yes, and you see this uh, this fancy glowing thing over here. That is the entrance to a very, very special area in the game. Um, I won't say too much about it. Um, people who have played um, earlier versions of Diablo would be familiar with uh, what's known as the, uh, the secret cow level. And um, there is something in this game called the Secret Pony level. So if you uh, just search for Diablo 3 and Secret Pony level, uh, you can find out more about it and um, all the uh, laborious steps to uh, be able to access it. Now let's go check out this dank cellar. Empty. Did those creatures steal the treasure? Ah, and here we have uh, what's called an elite creature. He's just a, a purple in terms of the, the color of his um, name is Sarkoth. So he's not that tough. Um, I think the yellow, the ones with the yellow names are the toughest. And you can see he's dropping all sorts of gold, health globes, cloth pants, and a scouting buckler, and some gloves. So let's check our inventory here. So, okay, those are better gloves than I'm wearing. Um, the pants I'm wearing now are better because they're uh, magic pants, so I have better chance of finding magic items, so I'll keep those. Uh, I don't need a buckler right now. Um, those are not good. That's equal. Um, you see, right now I'm using a uh, fist weapon, and I could replace it with a dagger, but um, because she's a monk class, the fist weapons are um, preferable. So I will I will keep her fist weapon going. And we can put on some boots. And, oh, look at that superior pants. So I'm actually going to replace um, those pants with those, because I have more armor. More armor uh, helps protect against um, attacks and things, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now let's keep going, because we need... Okay, we've got all the wretched mothers we need, although we may find a few along the way, but we're still looking for the queen. Yep, see, I knew there was going to be at least one other mother along the way. Okay, nope, he doesn't have anything. And you can see the glowing circle here. That's where um, the final objective is that I need to get to, but let me go take care of this one first. The queen is going to be sort of a mini-boss um, elite, so she's usually not as um, easy to kill as some of the other elites that you just kind of randomly encounter across the way. Sometimes not. Sometimes these are, are easier. Um, she's actually not that tough. She's like the first one you kind of encounter in the game. I don't have enough spirits. Yeah, see, she's not that hard. Okay, so once she's dead, I mean, I can go back to Tristram. 
but I want to go ahead and just kind of check out a few things. The reason I'm picking up um, stuff even if I don't need them is primarily um, I can sell them for gold. Not that she necessarily needs the gold because I have um, plenty of gold for my other characters, but just kind of showing you for anyone who hasn't played the game yet and is planning on uh, maybe starting the game at some point that um, it's kind of good, especially in the very early levels of the game, um, to pick up as much uh, crap as possible and sell it um, to the vendors. Um, these low-level items um, are not worthy of selling on the auction house that you can ac get access to, but they're definitely worth um, selling and getting gold because um, over time you're going to need gold to buy things like health potions and other things. And Oh, look at that. We get another elite. Ooh, a yellow one. Okay, he's going to be a toughie. Let me go ahead and focus on this fight. Uh-oh. And there is a treasure troll, too. Oops, we need to get him. Uh, these guys show up randomly and just drop all sorts of co good goodies <laughs> along the way. And you need to kill them before they go through their little portals. Otherwise you lose out on the really good stuff. You see all these, these blue colored ones? These are good. The blue colored um, items are better than the white colored items when you pick them up. Gray colored items are the worst ones, etc. And I need to hit my alt key. You can see these here. So I get some more blue colored items. So that was a really worthwhile um, sidetrack there. Alright, so no fist weapons that we picked up, but these are still going to be worth some gold, like 37 gold for this one, 34 for this one, etc. Let's see if there's any worthy... Um, oh, okay. It's the same amount of armor, but it regenerates two life per second, so that's superior. So I'm going to put that tunic on. Um, I'm going to keep the gloves I have. And I think that's it. I think the rest of these items so we will go ahead and sell. And uh, one thing to know about this game is you kind of repeat playing through um, a lot of the stuff um, more than once. Oh, and you have uh, these waypoints here that kind of get you through um, other thing um, from one place to another. And Oh, it's telling me I have an empty equipment slot. Oops. So... Oh, yes. It, it's warning me I have an empty equipment slot. I'm holding um, shields, and I, I haven't equipped a shield. Um, but she's a hand-to-hand -hand combat person, so she really... Um, shields are not ideal, so I'm going to go ahead. At least I don't think shields are ideal for her. I don't know. Perhaps? You know, I'm really not that familiar with her um, class at the moment. Meh. Let's go ahead and put a shield on and just see what happens. Um, but as I was saying, so you get to repeat playing these things uh, multiple times. Right now we're playing at the normal level, which is sort of the easy level, and you don't get to, to jump over. Uh, you have to play the easy level first. And then you have um, nightmare level, hell level, and then finally infernal level, which is the, the final uh, the final and the hardest could level to play. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Alright. So I completed that quest, and I have uh, more XP and gold. Let's go ahead and talk to Leah. Come. Let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Alright, so now you can see up in the upper left that Leah has um, joined our little group. And she's going to go ahead and follow us. We're going back to the old ruins. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What happened to your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Barrels. Just checking for good loot. Here's the hut. Look, a hidden cellar. 
Follow me. Your mother's secrets are true. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Alrighty. Nice health potion there. Now we got another little elite going here. He shouldn't be a problem either. Again, this is normal level, so it is the easy level, and uh, the fights aren't really that difficult. And they're quite easy to solo. Um, one nice thing about the game is you can play with your friends if your friends have this game installed. Um, you could play with them and, and log in, and you can form up to groups of, I believe, five. Oops, she got frozen there. Alright, pick those things up, get that barrel. Um, so yeah, you can play with up to four Here's of your friends, which is really fun. Journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find your uncle. Stay here and find out what you can. Thank you. Ada came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's at, hell will surely fall on him. Shadows close in on Christian once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. So we're learning a little bit about Adria's mom here. And about someone named Aiden. And uh, I think a lot of this may uh, make more sense to anyone who has who have played um, Diablo 1 and 2. I actually had not played those games. Um, I was aware of them, but I hadn't played them. So um, some of this was, uh, some of that lore was not known to me. Alrighty, and hey, we have a mass grave. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, let's just check it out because there can always be treasure and things that we can get. Again, it's always good to try and do these, especially at the low levels, because you can gain XP, you can level up faster, and if you get any kind of treasure, you can also get um, things to sell, and the gold is very useful so that you can afford the important health potions and things along the way. Uh, you do have health globes that drop off of um, these creatures randomly as you fight them, but um, I find that they don't always drop enough, especially at the higher levels. So while at the lower levels you don't necessarily need the potions as badly, at the higher levels you do. And so, you know, collecting your gold early is always a good thing. So here's the uh, cathedral. And we are now up to level four. All right, more more things here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I have a new primary skill. So right now I'm using Fists of Thunder. And you can see it, it's a series of rapid punches that can knock back enemies. And the new one, Strike Multiple Enemies. That can come in handy because there's always multiple enemies that we're fighting. And I have a new skill which I can now use my number key for. Um, blinding Flash. Blind all near nearby enemies. That can also be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And that's all I have there. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into this hole. And here we go. The star fell here. So here's where the star fell with the blue glow. We'll be seeing this uh, hole in the pit <laughs> numerous times. You can uh, use things within the cathedral to help you kill. So I just used the chandelier to help kill some uh, zombies. And I may be going through some of these places a little bit quickly, um, just because I have played this before. Okay, these guys are disgusting. They kind of just blow up and then you have to kill the things that come out of them. Alright, so another... And I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. All 
Alright, so uh, any of you who have played earlier versions of Diablo may remember who Leoric is. If you haven't or don't, well, we'll find out more about him later. There we go, there's the blinding flash. Now the blinding flash has a cooldown. So I can't use it repeatedly uh, back to back like I can some of the other attacks. But it's still useful. Especially as an uh, initial attack when you're attacking people. Kind of catches them off guard, if you will. And there you go. Blurry, yucky. I don't like those guys. But they do like to make these games kind of uh, yucky sometimes. Anyway, um, one thing you can see up here, I have a mini-map that shows me where I'm going. And I can always kind of expand it out to see if I see a, a throbbing yellow circle um, coming up or not. Because that'll give me a guide as to where I need to go. Because right now I'm basically searching for signs of Uncle Deckard in the cathedral. So I'm just wandering around, just looking for him. And killing monsters along the way. I keep going further there. Let's just check and see if there's anything of interest in here. Nope. Try the next room. Sometimes you can also like collapse bookshelves and you get a little coin or something out of those. Alright. Got some more dudes over here. Ability is I'd like to get this chain, but I can't. Alright. I need my healing potion there. Right. I like the fact that she's uh, this badass. <laughs> woman who's just like kicking and punching and killing monsters with her bare hands. I kind of like that. Oh yeah, sometimes there's loose stones um, in places like the cathedral where you can uh, find things like treasures and stuff as well. Alright, another one of these guys. Kind of so over them. Thankfully, in my opinion, those are the, the only really gross um, zombie-type critters in the game. There's lots of tough zombies and, and different kinds of zombies, but... Oops, I guess that was for that guy, that group. But um, they're really... Only the, the, the exploding ones are the only ones that are kind of gross, in my opinion. There's there really isn't that much else that gets grosser. Oh yes, and we have shrines here. Um, different shrines can give you different things. This one gives you fortune. Um, there's different blessings you can get, and you can see the glow over her head. And uh, just basically increases her uh, find of treasure and gold and things like that as she's playing along. And I think we found... My burden is too great. Oh, okay. My burden is too great. Okay, and I can't go back to town yet. Um, later on in the game, we'll actually pick up something that'll give us um, the ability to portal back to town uh, automatically. Um, so, yeah, let's see, we got the gold, we got the sword. Let's see here. Eh. 
Hold hand axe. Okay, so crude. We can, this is a gray item, so I'm going to get rid of the gray item and pick up the white item instead because it's just going to be worth more gold. And let's go ahead and go into Leoric's Passage. Oh, minions! Stay back! Back! Play this way! mean skeletons beating up on that old guy. <laughs> yes, and as you can tell, yeah, that is Decker Kane if you didn't know. There was an opening um, cinematic in the game that unfortunately I did not record because I played the game before so I, I can't just uh, do the cinematic um, where you see Leah with um, her uncle Decker. So, um, Typically, if you play the game yourself, the first thing you see is that cinematic and you would know who Deckard Kane is and what he looks like and how he sounds. Yep. And this guy's a bit of a, a toughie. But not too tough, I don't think. There we go, we got him. I'm saying we as if you guys are playing with me, but... <laughs> Oh, that's right. I am full. Let's see. Gray items, gray items, gray items. I like to throw out gray items first. Here we go. Do that. Take that one. And alt. Uh, I guess we can leave those behind. Let's go ahead and talk to Uncle Deckard. Oh, thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? It was not your time, old man. Come. Leah is waiting for you. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss. Oh, the there's a chest. Stars. If there's anything valuable in here, I want to keep. Definitely some gold and a health potion. Which, um, you notice the health potion I can pick up even though my pack is full because it kind of stacks um, over here with these potions. So I can uh, pick up as many as I want. And here's another waypoint. Back to Tristram. I have kept my word and rescued Leah's uncle, Deckard Kane. I saved him from a creature called the Skeleton King who now bars my way to the Fallen Star. Alright, so I think I will end this um, episode right here. I think that's a good, a good stopping point. Um, so with the next episode, uh, we will go ahead and uh, go forth and try and find and kill the Skeleton King. That's the next, the next episode, the next part of the, uh, the, the chapter of this game. So until next time, thanks for joining me. Bye bye. <laughs>